metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Cluttered up boxes. Whew, I haven't got time to dig through all this. <laughs> I should just throw all this garbage away. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. What kind of book is that? Looks like it's really ancient. Ah, it's my dear great grandmother's scrapbook. She was enthusiastic and eccentric, a survivalist. She said that when the world finally falls apart, I could be the one to step up and save it. Huh. So she prepared me for great achievements. While other girls were playing with dolls, I was training to meet Great Granny's standards. I haven't saved the world, but I'm still in pretty good shape. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh. World falling apart? Stepping up to save it? What's that about? Granny told me everything was explained in the book. <gasps> Clouds on fire. Magnetic field. Inversion. Uh, golly! Why have the bees gone crazy? More, more, to me, to me! Right, right, a little left, yeah? That's it, that is just great, that is perfect, that is... Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> Feng Shui says your bed should be facing north. Now this thing is saying north is there! This way, this way, just a little more this way. Oh, it's gonna be perfect! This way. Hi there! Have you ever heard of something called the magnetic field? Everybody has seen normal magnets at least once in their life. Uh-uh. Sure you have. Look at the front of your refrigerator. All right! Every magnet has a north pole and a south pole. Similar poles repel each other, and opposite poles attract each other. This happens because particles within the magnet create electrical charges, and those charges create a magnetic field. That field of one object can attract other objects with a magnetic field of their own. Our own planet Earth behaves like an enormous magnet and has its own magnetic field. We can't feel it, but it affects all life on Earth. I can't feel it at all. Well, one way we can use the Earth's magnetic field is with a compass. Compasses work because the magnet in a compass aligns with the Earth's magnetic field. The magnet in the compass lines up with Earth's south magnetic pole, which is what we call our North Pole, since opposites attract. Compasses have been used for navigation for about 1,000 years. Do you know how Earth's magnetic field is generated? Let's dig down and see. About 3,000 kilometers down. That's where our planet's inner core is located. It's almost as big as our moon and composed primarily of iron. This, coupled with the planet's rotation, helped produce the Earth's magnetic field. But nothing bad would happen if the magnetic field disappeared, would it? Because after all, we can't even feel it, right? And nobody really uses compasses for anything now. Look at this! Look at what my bees did. They made this instead of normal honeycomb. Huh, what do my bees think they're artists now? Darn thing looks like some kind of sculpture. In the same way that wood mice find their way in the forest using the Earth's magnetic field to navigate, and migrating birds use the magnetic field to stay on course through long flights, 
Bees are also highly sensitive to magnetic fields. Bees arrange their honeycombs according to the Earth's magnetic field. They also base communication and navigation on the magnetic field. Without Earth's magnetic field to guide them, the mice, the birds, and the bees would go from order to chaos immediately. Confusion will claim the birdies, poor things. Also, the bees will forget how to build. But what's the magnetic field got to do with the animals? Let me take a peek at that and I'll answer you. Mm hmm? Uh-huh. Very interesting. Fascinating. Amazing. Life-changing. Well, smack my rack! We're all doomed! We need a miracle! No. Jumbo size no with extra no sauce. I swore off all this rubbish a long time ago. I'm not that dumb little girl buying into that save the world garbage anymore. I live in reality now. Please listen. You need to understand, not little girl. We're on the verge of a <laughs> catastrophe. The Earth's magnetic field is disappearing. Your great grandmother knew this was coming, but she also knew the way to fix it. But I don't remember much of anything my great grandmother said to me. Huh. Hey, wait. I remember something about taking a trip to, I think, the North Pole. Why would she want to take a little girl on a difficult trip up into the frigid Arctic Circle? Pellets! What <gasps> is Oh, clouds on fire, just like it says in the book. It's another omen coming true. Northern lights, aurora borealis. They're never supposed to be visible in this place. The magnetic field is clearly weakening. Tell me, what will happen when the Earth's magnetic field is completely gone? Well, many animals and birds will lose their sense of direction. But that's just the beginning. It gets worse. Our sun produces a constant stream of charged particles commonly called the solar wind. This outflow of radiation from the sun races through the solar system at about 2 million kilometers an hour. Without the Earth's magnetic field, these supercharged radioactive particles would travel into the cells of living organisms, causing deadly diseases and mutations. Fortunately, that doesn't happen. That's because our magnetic field works as a shield. Dangerous particles don't hit the Earth's surface because they are forced by the magnetic field to flow around the Earth. Some particles do enter at the funnels over the poles. These particles, colliding with our atmosphere, are what produce the northern lights, or aurora borealis. Hmm. We've been flying around this arctic thingy forever. What are we looking for, huh? I know. Great Granny could have left better instructions for this whole saving the world thing. Look at that! <laughs> The Northern Brotherhood bids welcome to the Guardian. Hey, brothers! Put her there! <laughs> oh, I just, but, <laughs> now, you will follow me. We have been waiting for you. Every indication is that the end is near. And what exactly am I doing? Great-grandmother wasn't exactly forthcoming with details. Your great-grandmother was one of an ancient guardian family. Their vast knowledge was remarkable. They knew that once every several thousand years, the Earth's magnetic poles swap places. Um, right, right! And this process is called, um, inversion! And as the inversion is happening, all the life on Earth will become extinct! The whole game's over! That's it! 
But it's impossible to predict when it might be starting. There is not a single thing that is impossible for the Guardians, but there isn't anyone besides you that can activate the Great Northern Magnet left by the Guardians to protect their descendants from the effect of the solar winds. Our Brotherhood has been protecting the Magnet for centuries. An enormous electromagnet! Ah, oh, I've never seen anything like it before! Its electromagnetic field will be able to protect the whole planet from the solar wind! We are ready to keep it working until the pole switch is complete. Well, looks to me that you couldn't keep it working for 30 seconds! But the device is in perfect working order. Must be some kind of trouble with the Southern Brotherhood. Southern Brotherhood? It's clear someone must activate the other device the Guardians built for us, the Southern Magnet. We must hurry. Earth's geomagnetic field grows weaker by the second. <laughs> is too veggie to move! I can't just wait. Great-grandmother trusted me to get this done. Ha. 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 The Southern Brotherhood bids the long-awaited Guardian welcome. Nice to see you, fellas. Let's do this. Great Granny.